Thank you for joining me to talk about the Multiphase Optimization Strategy, or MOST. If you are an intervention scientist, I hope to convince you that MOST can be useful to you in your research. First, what is the Multiphase Optimization Strategy? Well, it's an engineering-inspired framework for development, optimization, and evaluation of multi-component behavioral, biobehavioral, and biomedical interventions. What is a multi-component behavioral, biobehavioral, or biomedical intervention? A multi-component intervention is a program with two or more components that has the objective of preventing or treating health problems or improving or maintaining health and well-being. A behavioral intervention is made up exclusively of behavioral components, for example, a school-based drug abuse prevention program. A biobehavioral intervention is made up of a combination of behavioral and biological or medical components. A great example of biobehavioral interventions is smoking cessation interventions, which typically use a combination of counseling and some kind of medication such as nicotine replacement therapy. A biomedical intervention is made up exclusively of biological or medical strategies. For example, treatment of post-surgical pain might uh, involve medication and physical therapy. So how are multi-component interventions typically developed and evaluated? Intervention components are chosen typically based on scientific theory, clinical experience, etc., and then they're combined into a package which is evaluated by means of a standard randomized controlled trial, or RCT. Let's call this the classical approach. This is a schematic drawing of the classical approach. You can see a number of components. We have five here, but there could be any number of components. They're assembled into a multi-component intervention, which then is evaluated by means of an RCT. Now, what is wrong with evaluating an intervention by means of an RCT? This is important. There's nothing wrong with doing that. There's nothing wrong with evaluating an intervention by means of an RCT. The problem that my collaborators and I have is right where the circle is on the figure that you see. It's in the transition between identifying a set of components and assembling them into a multi-component intervention. There's a lot of information we need that is not included in the RCT. The RCT is best suited for determining whether an intervention as a package performs better than a control or comparison group or perhaps an alternative intervention. But the RCT cannot tell us which components are making positive contributions to the overall effect and which are not. It cannot tell us whether the inclusion of one component has an impact on the effect of another. It can't tell us whether one component had a negative effect that offset the positive effect of other components. It can't tell us whether a component's contribution offsets its cost. Perhaps a very costly contribution might be expected to have a larger effect if it's to be included in the intervention. And in general, the RCT cannot tell us how to make the intervention more effective, more efficient, and more scalable. Well, when engineers build products, they have a much different approach. They take an approach that's systematic, that's efficient, and that's focused on the clear objective of optimizing the product. So the multi-phase optimization strategy, or MOST, integrates methodological perspectives from the behavioral sciences, statistics, and engineering to build optimized behavioral, biobehavioral, and biomedical interventions. Now, what do I mean by optimization? Optimization of an intervention is defined here as the process of identifying the intervention that provides the best expected outcome obtainable, but within key constraints imposed by the need for efficiency, economy, and or scalability. Here are a few examples of optimization. You might be interested in developing an intervention that simply has no inactive components, so it's very efficient. You might be interested in developing an intervention that gives you the best outcome obtainable for, say, $200 per participant or less, or any other upper limit on cost. You might be interested in developing an intervention that gives you the best outcome obtainable, but takes no more than 30 minutes of, of staff time. And there are many, many different criteria that one could use for optimization. Now, this figure illustrates the multi-phase optimization strategy. Most is made up of three phases. The first phase is preparation in which, for example, the investigator determines which components are candidates for inclusion in the intervention package. The second phase is optimization. 
In this phase, the investigator gathers information about the performance of the individual components and how the, the components may affect the performance of each other. This is done by means of highly efficient experimentation. Based on the results of the experimentation, the investigator determines the composition of the optimized intervention. The third phase is evaluation, in which this optimized intervention is evaluated by means of the familiar RCT. So you see, the RCT is a part of most. There are some important differences in perspective between the classical approach and most. The objective of the classical approach is to develop an intervention that demonstrates statistical and, of course, clinical significance. The objective of most is to develop an intervention that has been optimized and is statistically and clinically significant. In the classical approach, the next steps after identification and pilot testing of components are to assemble the intervention and then go directly to an RCT. By contrast, in most, after the intervention components are identified, the next step is not the RCT. Instead, it's to conduct experimentation to assess the effects of the components and then optimize the intervention. Only then is the intervention evaluated by means of an RCT, and it's only evaluated by means of an RCT if it looks sufficiently promising. In the classical approach, the RCT is pretty much the only experimental design that's used, but most uses a variety of experimental designs, and there are many to choose from. The investigator chooses the most efficient one for the type of intervention that's being optimized and the resources that are available. In the classical approach, inert and counterproductive components are generally tolerated as long as the effectiveness of the overall package can be demonstrated, but in most, such components are generally not tolerated. In the classical approach, once an intervention has been evaluated and is being implemented in the intended settings, Ad hoc modifications are often necessary to make the intervention scalable and practical. In most, an intervention can be engineered for immediate scalability. I hope I've convinced you that most is worth learning a bit more about. Please watch for additional videos explaining more about how to apply most in your work. And for more information, you can go to the most website using the URL that you see here on the screen. You'll find a lot of information there about most, including suggested readings and FAQ. Thank you.